All right, so far we found x-intercepts without using our graphing calculator. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to find the x-intercepts of a graph using the graphing calculator. All right, um, there are certain steps. You'll notice there are six different steps that we're going to follow, and I'm actually going to do an example to get us through this, and I'm going to use the example y equals x squared minus 3x minus 5, and I'm going to go through these steps with you on the calculator. Okay, so here is my calculator. Um, first thing that it does say is to make sure that the equation is in y equals form. 90% of the time it will be, and it is. The next thing that we are going to do is graph the function, so we'll use the y equals button. So I'll go over to y equals, and I will type in x squared minus 3x minus the next thing that it does say to do is um, we can graph it if you'd like to. If you just go up to hit graph, it will graph the equation for you. And there we go. And then from here, um, to get the x-intercepts, we'll push calc, which is second trace. And trace is up at the top. There we go. And we'll choose option two, which is zero. So we'll arrow down to that. And then I'll just press enter. And then you'll notice that it says left bound question mark. We need to enter an x value to the left of where the function crosses the x-axis. There's a couple ways, and I'm going to show you both of them. I could just use my arrow key. You'll notice I am to the left or I'm above where it actually crosses. So I could do that. Or I could see, I notice that x equals negative 2 is to the left. So I could actually type in negative 2. That's usually kind of what I like to do and then press enter, and then it says right bound question mark. We need to um, go to the, I'm just showing you both ways. I could use the arrow key. Whoops, and notice I'm underneath where it crosses. Or I could type in like at x equals zero for sure, that's to the right of that intersection point, intercept. So I'll type in that, and then I'll press enter. It says guess question mark, just press enter. You don't really need to take a guess. And then you'll notice that my zero on this one is um, negative 1.193. And we would want to for sure go out three decimal places on that. So I entered in on my screen as um, negative 1.193 comma zero. And notice that was only one x-intercept. So to get the other x-intercept, I'm going to follow the same steps. I'll do calc, which again is second trace. Again, I want to find the zero. This time I'm just going to type in two, and that will do the same thing. Left bound. This time I need to be over here. So I am going to just look at to the left. It looks like three. So I'm just going to actually type in three. I notice to the right, um, x equals six is to the right of it. So I'm just going to type in six. Press enter. I don't want to take a guess. And you'll notice up here, there. show me arrows where it's going to find the zero in between those two, and that's exactly where I would like to be. So I'll just press enter, and you'll notice my zero is 4.193 comma zero. You'll notice down here it says y equals a, a number that's in scientific notation. The calculator is getting as close to zero as it possibly can, and if I were to write that in sign, out in normal form, that would be point eleven zeros one. So it is as close to one, as close to zero as it can possibly get. So don't worry if you get something that looks like that. On the calculator, also just a quick note, if you're going to find the y-intercept, you'll notice the y-intercept is down here. You can't use the features of your calculator to do that. Just follow our non-calculator version, which is just to plug in 0 for your x, and you'll notice in this problem we'd get negative 5. So you should now know how to find an x-intercept on your calculator.